Well, it's not actual rain, but it, it kind of works like rain. Now I got to fumble with my banana for five minutes and I'm not even enjoying fumbling with my banana. Kind of bending it in there and barely sniffing my banana. Welcome back everybody. Today I'm back with three absolutely ridiculous banana gadgets to help you on the go. Now only one of these gadgets is for use with an actual banana. The other two are kind of banana themed, but let's take a look at the three contenders and then get started. First up, this is a banana phone. You can actually receive and make phone calls with a banana. Next up we have an umbrella, which is banana themed. And finally, this one's for use with an actual banana. This is a banana pod to keep your banana safe. So let's jump into the first banana gadget and see how it actually works. Let's take a look at the banana phone here. I paid $49.99 for this. The claims are that it's a Bluetooth handset shaped like a banana. It can also be used as a Bluetooth speaker. Great gift idea. 10 hour talk time, 30 foot range. They even have a gorilla on the back of the packaging. USB cable. Here is the banana phone. Some instructions, some other paper. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right, so I've got some instructions here. I got to read these over before I get started. And now people on Amazon who like this, they say it's fun and actually works surprisingly well. Uh, those who didn't like it, some people said it drops connection. Others says it's too expensive or the sound quality isn't very good. Looks like we've got a plus and a minus button and a phone button right there. I mean, how many times have you ever picked up an actual banana and pretend like it was a phone? This time you can actually do it for real. Should be interesting. I'm going to read these over, charge it up, and then get started. Let's try out this banana phone now, shall we? I'm going to turn on the banana phone. Power on. It said power on. Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth connected. How many times when you were a kid did you ever do this? We've all done this before. Now you can actually do it for real and actually have a phone that works. It is connected to my phone. I'm going to use a different phone and call it and see how it sounds. Freaking reviews. Oh, it said frequent reviews and has a ringtone. Very pleasant. I can answer it with this middle button here. Okay, I'm hearing my other phone. Now, one thing is it is a bit staticky. Turn this off. Power off. All right, so it does work. So I'm gonna go out in the field and try this one for real and see how it actually works. Time for a real world banana phone test. Let me turn it on here and see if it syncs with my phone. Power on. All right, so I really can't call myself. That's, that's not very fun. I'm gonna have someone call me. I'm gonna see how it, this sounds. I just messaged Brandon. He's gonna call me on my banana phone. Here we go. Brandon White. Here we go. Hello? Hello? How do, you, how do I sound? Sound like you. <laughs> wow, that's loud. Hold on, let me turn this down. Uh, I'm talking to you on a banana. Is it a clear banana? Um, is the banana ripe or not? It looks pretty ripe. I don't think, I think it's right in the middle. Um, can you take a bite out of this banana? I, I cannot, it is a plastic banana. That's why it's so loud. I can actually use it as a speaker phone because it's so loud. The only thing I'm noticing is there's a bit of like a sss in the background, but otherwise you sound fine. I'm gonna switch over to my regular phone. I think I can do that. And you tell me what the difference in quality is, all right? That's funny, your, your voice has much more bass and treble in it. It was very mid-rangey on the banana, but here I hear a much bigger spectrum of uh, frequencies. So now I'm on speaker, now how does this sound? Actually pretty good. So of the three, banana, speaker, and through my headset, which one sounds, uh, you know, what order would, the, would you rank those? Handset, speaker, and sorry banana, right. you're last. But the banana phone is the most stylish of them all, so I guess it, it, that makes up for something. All right, well, thank you for uh, for participating. I appreciate that, Brian. Oh, of course. Uh, I was kind of disappointed you can't eat that banana phone. I know, but... and you also can't call out with it, which kind of kind of takes about half of the function away from it. But I guess you could call from your phone and then switch over. But that's that's kind of clunky. In fact, let me let me try that now. I'm gonna hang up. I'm gonna try to call you from my regular phone and switch over to the banana. All right, let's try try making an outgoing call. Oh, it even says on my on my phone it has banana phone as an option. Hello. Hello. When I called on my iPhone, it actually gave the banana phone as an option to call with. So that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, you still have to use your phone to call out, but you can actually select the banana phone as a default device. So that's kind of cool. You sound like you are talking on your banana phone now. I am. I'm on the banana phone. I just like saying banana phone. All right. Well, I appreciate you helping me out and I will I'll talk to you a little later. Well, he said the quality wasn't great, but it was certainly acceptable. And you can make calls, but you have to use your regular handset and then switch over to the banana phone from there. So I don't know. It's kind of a novelty, kind of funny, but uh, I'm not sure how practical it is, but there you go. This is the Um Banana Banana Umbrella. I paid $17.95 for this. The claims that it's a fully functional umbrella that's shaped like a banana when not in use. 
here we go another banana now people on amazon who like this they say it's well made works well and it's a great gift idea those who didn't like it some people said it's not well made or it's hard to retract when it's original banana shape i should point out i watched a product video on amazon and it kind of looked like the guy was struggling to get it open on their video so we'll have to see how it goes hopefully i have better luck than he did all right let's take a look at this banana umbrella so here we go opening the banana umbrella it extends pretty easily let's take off this velcro there is a big silver button right there that I have to press in. Okay, it's opening. It's opening. Okay, it did lock into place though. It did lock into place. And Bailey's in here. Bailey thinks I had an actual banana. What do you think, Bailey? No? This looks like a little piece of, of foil. It's so thin. There's no way that's gonna last over time. Is it supposed to be bad luck to open an umbrella inside? Well, good thing I don't believe in bad luck. It's pretty cool, but it does feel pretty cheap. But let's close this up now. Because some people were saying that it's kind of difficult to get back into the banana. I think the few moments you get of excitement of showing people your banana are offset by the many moments it takes to put it back together. I think I got it. See, now how's that going to go back in the banana? I'm doing it, but man, this is a lot more work than it is opening it up. I'm just, and now it's kind of just getting shoved in. Come on, man. Does this look as bad as I think it does? This is probably the best way to get your banana back in this, into place. And Bailey's sniffing my banana. <laughs> this is so long. This takes so long. I think that's, that's as good as I'm going to get it. Wow, that's, that's really difficult to get back in there. That's, that's it. I'm, I'm giving up here. I'm calling it right there. I'll work on it. I'll try to get it. I'll, I'll try some more off camera. But right now, that's a many minutes. A major task to get back together. And look at this. I'm not doing it. All right, I have banana success. It took me about 10 minutes. Multiple tries. And I finally got it completely enclosed back in this banana. Now the trick I found was to use the strap as low as you can to try to keep that in place. Man, that's a pain. That is a pain. Now I have to do it again, but I wanted to show you how it works. So the one thing I haven't tried is how waterproof this is. Now it's not raining outside, so I'll have to come up with something. So let's go check it out. All right, how about a real world test of the banana umbrella? Now the, the good news and bad news. The good news is it's kind of breezy so I can at least test how durable it is. The bad news is not raining. Although surprisingly here in Las Vegas, it did snow last night. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's kind of funny. I was at CES and I hear all these people saying, I'm going to Vegas. I thought it was going to be warm here. Uh, it doesn't always get that warm here. It was in the 20s the other night, but I digress. So even though I can't test how waterproof it is yet, I can at least do a durability test in a real world situation. It's kind of breezy out there. And let's go outside the car and see what happens. Out of sheer coincidence, I look over and what do I see? It says Vegas is only banana shop. How perfect is that? There's a shop over there, but it's not open yet. Otherwise, I'd go in there. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. I think fate brought me across town because I'm never over here just so I could see the illustrious banana van. All right, since I saw this across the street, I figured the best place to try this banana umbrella would be by this banana van. So let's give it a shot. It's kind of breezy out here. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Opening up the banana umbrella. I guess get a little breeze here going on. Oh, it's, it's holding up, kind of holding up. It's a little flimsy, but honestly, better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna blow away in, in one second, but maybe it's not so bad after all. Maybe I just needed the banana van <laughs> as my backdrop for it to work. All right, I would say it's holding up in a pretty decent breeze here. So only thing left now is to test out how waterproof it is. But otherwise, I think it held up pretty well. The good news is that, you know, this it's pretty breezy out here. I thought it was going to just be destroyed in one second. It wasn't. So maybe it's a little more durable than I thought it was. But now I got to do this part, which is the worst. I got to put this back in here. This part's awful. I'm, I think I'm getting a little faster at it, but it's still, it's still pretty bad. Let's see how fast I can do this. There's just no easy way to do this. It seems like they put more effort in the design than the actual function of it. I'm sitting here in my car playing my banana. I don't think that goes over too well. Now I gotta fumble with my banana for five minutes and I'm not even enjoying fumbling with my banana. All right, that was a brief test, so it wasn't extensive, but in, in the amount of breeze we have out here, it did better than I thought it was going to. So I'm gonna have to go home and try to figure out a way to see how waterproof it is. Otherwise, I mean, it kind of works. You know, this is the luck I get. Nine times out of 10 when I wanna film outside, I don't want it to be windy and it's windy. Today I want it to be windy and as soon as I came out here, the wind stopped. But I'm gonna wait for it. I'm waiting for the wind with my banana umbrella. The only one downside about it is you have to do something with this. If I put it in my pocket, that doesn't go over too well. Maybe it will, I don't know. <laughs> that might go over better. What do you see, Bailey? What do you see? I'm trying to hold in the wind here. We got some wind happening. You know, earlier today when I tried it out, it, it, was, it was pretty breezy and it held up better than I thought it was going to. 
As a sun umbrella, it's actually not bad either. It's kind of weird that everything in here is, is kind of, it's more greenish yellow than, than just a banana yellow. It has like a, a green tint to it when you're inside here. Not the sturdiest umbrella I've ever tried, but it's also not that terrible either. I don't know if it would, if it's gonna last more than one season. Depends on how much you use it, I guess. But I've got one more test before I wrap this banana umbrella review up. Well, it's not actual rain, but it, it kind of works like rain. And look at Bailey over here. I'm, I'm looking for his leaks. Is it leaking? Well, that's, it's, it's pretty rainy, rainy out here, at least in this three or four square feet. Uh, it's not leaking. It is not leaking. Wow, it's a it's torrential rain in this three square feet here. I think so far the banana umbrella has passed all the tests I threw at it, despite feeling kind of flimsy when I first opened it up. So as far as I'm concerned, it works. And finally, this one holds an actual banana. This is the Monkey Banana Pod. I paid $9.77 for this. The claims that it cradles your banana and prevents it from getting squished or bruising. It also has a cutout to accommodate a stem. Not much of an unboxing, I guess. Now, as silly as it seems on Amazon, a lot of people said it's great for protecting a banana in a lunchbox or on the road. Some people say it's well-made and cute. The main complaint I saw on Amazon is it's not really good for larger bananas. All right, it's time for the monkey banana pod. I've got two bunches of bananas here. These are kind of small, a little bit curved. These are a little bit larger and straighter. Let's see how these actually fit. I'm gonna get my bunch of smaller bananas here. I'm gonna peel one of these bananas off here. Now, the one thing I noticed, this doesn't lock or anything, so it's just it's loose. If you had in a backpack, this could easily fall out. So that's one kind of negative about this one. Let's see what we got here. Is it gonna fit? Oh, it kind of fits. It kind of fits. Look at this. Now we have a safely protected banana. And that banana is not gonna get damaged. That is gonna be a safe banana in the banana pod, assuming that this cover doesn't fall off. All right, so let's, uh, let's try some more of these. Now on the back of this bunch are a couple bigger ones. Let's try one of those. I'm just placing it in there and slightly bending it, but not a lot, just a little bit. And then, then placing the cover on there. We have a protected banana once again. We're off to a good start here. Now I'm gonna move over to this larger bunch of bananas. These are pretty straight. And the ones in the back are a little bit different shape than the ones in the front. Well, I'll try each one of those. Try one from the back here. This is pretty big. Oh, that, that actually fits pretty, that fits perfect. That I didn't have to bend at all. It fit right in there. Look at that. So this is a little bit larger banana, but its shape is absolute perfection. That is what this uh, banana pod's made for, this shape. Now, I'm really curious about, this is the longest, flattest one I could find. As you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty flat compared to, let's see if I can kind of shape it in there. <laughs> kind of bending it in there. I mean, it's, it's in there, but it's not, it's not happy about it. That is an unhappy banana. Even though the banana is not happy, it is a safe, unhappy banana. Billy wants to smell the monkey banana pod. I think overall it did pretty well though. Let's try a couple more, just to be sure. It's also kind of fun to test out. Let me try this one. Some of these I have to bend ever so slightly, but it doesn't seem like it's, it's ruining the banana. Let's get another of these long ones here. These are the ones that are the most problematic, because you can see I have to bend that one quite a bit. Actually, not, not too bad, not too bad. All right, it's a simple device. It's absolutely ridiculous, but I do think that the monkey banana pod actually works. So let's recap all three of these items, shall we? Now, as far as the banana phone goes, I kind of agree with some of the Amazon commenters that say that the sound quality isn't that great, but I never really had it drop connection like some people reported. I also noticed that if you leave it paired with your phone, you can actually listen to it like a Bluetooth speaker, but the quality is not very good. Now, as far as the banana umbrella goes, I kind of agree with some of the pros and cons. I do think it's well made enough to function, but it's very difficult difficult to get back in the case. Plus one problem is after you take the case off, you have to carry it around. But really it does work as long as you don't mind fumbling with it when you put it back together. As far as the banana pod goes, I, I'm not sure it's necessary, but it does work. If you're a hardcore banana lover, that could be a great item for you. But that's all I've got. If you've tried any of these banana gadgets, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.